Mass struggling early in this one. Charlton Clark here trying to run the offense, but the Tar Heels defense tough, forces a shot clock violation. Tar Heels tough on offense as well. Serge Wicker, the little turnaround jumper is good. And then more Tar Heel offense. The freshman point guard, Ed Cota, the feed. To Vince Carter, the nice jump hook on the baseline. And Carolina doesn't have much of a problem as they win their eighth in a row. And they get Sculver here. Look at the hang time. And then he calls window. He had 15 points and Cal up by 13 at the intermission. Second half now on the defensive end. It's Sean Marks here. Watch him go up, up, and pin. Rasan Carlton shot against the backboard. Jerry Dunn trying to fire up his team. And more Cal off the Penn State miss here. Watch the hustle and the save by Cal. Out ahead to the break. And Alfred Grigsby knows just how to finish it with a two-hand slam emphatically as Ed Gray leads the way. His line, 26 points, eight boards. George Mason down 29. 12 minutes left, though, they come back. Nate Langley will bring him back. Look at the nice jam. And then it's Langley from three. Knocks it down. And then more Langley. 11.8 seconds left. I think he called Bank on this one from the top of the key. Banks at home. He scored 22 of his 29 in the second half. And, yeah, they're going to celebrate as they win it by one as he had 22 in the second half, including that game. Mike Bibby, we don't know the size of his head, but he has the three. 16, 13, Arizona, he had 19. Michigan coming right back. Lewis Bullock from behind the NBA arc. Steve Fisher sees his Wolverines go up 24-22. Lute Olsen giving a pep talk. Must have worked. Jason Terry with the miss and a jam. Cats up midway through the second half. Michigan comes back. That's Hetty Flintstone on the business end. Michigan up by one. Closing seconds of regulation. Jason Terry shot. Will not go, so we go to overtime. In overtime, as Fisher looks on, there's Hetty Flintstone. Again from Ward. End of overtime, Michigan by two. Terry tries for the tie. No, but Terry gets it back and says, let's go for the win. No. Michigan walks away with a 73. Seven, look out the track, you're going to jump on me. Michigan now 8-0. The second half, B.J. Flynn Watch finds Alvin six. Sims for the alley-oop. Cardinals up 72-71. Nolan Richardson saw it going to overtime and in overtime. DeJuan Wheat three. for three. Go Louisville up 80-77. to The Razorbacks not to be outdone. Kareem Reed for three. We tied at 80. On Louisville's next possession, Wheat harvesting. Thank you. I just thought that up. Cardinals up by three. Wheat had 10 points in overtime. Crucial Arkansas possession. Derek Hood's pass heading out of bounds. Reed would chase it down, but his foot is on the line. Cardinals still up by one. Arkansas down by three with one last chance. Pat Bradley, no good. Louisville wins. 91-88. Big win for Louisville on the They keep their shirts on. Wheat was held scoreless in the first half, but after second overtime, Torrey Braggs to Lenny Brown. Xavier would be up by three with seconds to go. Jamal Ball. All net. We go to a third overtime. Akron down two points. Last chance. Inbounds pass. Scott Gooden, last chance. Gooden, no good. Mm. Xavier survives. I'm just turning the phrases one after another. Hero wordsmith. Woo! 113, 111, the final in triple overtime. So Xavier escapes with a two point win. Thank you for your support. Your Jayhawks shot. pressure defense it's creating the late. easy basket. Try to do this on cue, would you? Two on none. Then the next trip down the court, we'll rehearse next time. Ryan Robertson to Rafe LaFrance. Nobody putting a body on LaFrance. He had 17. And then Robertson working with the backdoor play with Pierce, and it works to perfection. Pierce had 21. Jacques Vaughn, by gum he approves, and wears a handsome vest. Kansas by 28. They now have the third longest home win streak in the nation at 33. Paul Pierce leading the way with 21. So Wildcats defense doing the job. Ron Mercer the steal and Ron Mercer with the dunk. But look at this. He comes down awfully hard. I'd like to see it again. Try to protect himself. Kind of a little bit showboating. Hangs on the rim. Had to leave the game, though he did come back. More quick hands from Anthony Epps. The sweet bounce pass to Mercer. No good, but Allen Edwards with the follow. And Bobby Kremens has seen enough. But wait, there's more. Mercer, again, the super sophomore on the finish, filling the lane. Kentucky, another big win for them. The margin... 29, if my math is correct. They've won eight straight in the game. I, I might beg to differ. UCLA 14 turnovers in the first half. That was one of them. Brian Notre with the finish. Illini up eight at the break. Second half, some more running from them. Matt Heldman to Brian Johnson all alone underneath. He gets it to Chris Gandy. 16 points is the lead. Illinois' little guys getting it done as well. Hellman for three. They left him open and they paid for it. He had 19. 
And yes, UCLA goes down a strife-ridden season. Foot of Apologies to Reese. All wake, Jerry Braswell, alley-oop to Tim Duncan. Then Duncan in the post. Spin move. Duncan with the kiss. He had a season high 22. Unstoppable. Grabs the rebound. Duncan. Duncan. Wake wins 90-53. Evansville, number 13, Indiana. Four minutes left, first half. Kareem Richardson finds Chris Hollander for the backdoor lay-in. Hello. Ace is up by three. Second half, Indiana shut him down. Chris Quinn gets tied up down low. Jump ball. Evansville coach Jim Cruz doesn't like the call, and Cruz gets the gate. See ya. Hoosiers rolled from there. Andre Patterson down low. He puts it in reverse. Indiana wins 75-57. VCU versus number 20, Alabama. Patrick Lee hot early. Lee from three. He had 22 in the first half. Bama hangs tough. Demetrius Alexander, baseline jam. Bama up four at half. Two minutes left. Bama down two. Eric Williams for three. Hits it. Bama wins 72-69. American at number 25, Maryland. Sharunas Yesikarshus. Yes, yeah, sure. Thank you. LeBron Profit. I don't profit from saying these names, believe me. Obina Ikizi down low for the slam. Eight of eight from the floor ties a school record. More profit on the receiving end of the alley-oop. Maryland wins 81-74. And eight in the first, but Iowa State picks it up. The alley-oop to Kelvin Cato on the business end. Cato had 16. Cyclones pouring it on in the second half in transition. Cato with one of six blocks at the other end. It's Sean Bankhead. We promised him we deliver. Iowa State is 7 0. Number 16, Minnesota at Nebraska. Quincy Lewis driving to John Thomas. You'll pardon my French. Minnesota up five. Can you say that? Nebraska got sloppy. Tyron Lou loses the ball. Gophers in transition. Courtney James. Gophers prevail 70 to 56. Missouri and Iowa. The Tigers on the run. Kelly Thames on the business end. Game tied at 35 at the break. Don't quote me. You'll get in trouble. Andre Woolridge fakes the shot instead. It's Thames, the alley-oop, Daryl Moore, Moore, Woolridge, pull up three is terrific. 32 points for Woolridge. Iowa rolls 88-77. Finally, Purdue and Oklahoma in Norman. The Boilermakers getting a little sloppy. Chad Austin's pass picked by Lou Moore. There he goes. Katie. Okay. Still early in the season for that. Here's Nate Erdman for three. It's good. He had 22. And then Eduardo Najera to Bobby Joe Evans. Back to Najera. That's good passing. Oklahoma a win. Yes, we hope. Back in the Thomas and Mack playing Texas Tech in the Vegas shootout. Texas Tech up three. Corey Carr makes it, uh, gets the three-pointer. Next possession, Fresno State. Dominique Young buries the three. Fresno State down three. Still first half. Tech up by four. Corey Carr another three. Fresno State next possession. Dominique Young for three. Young had 33 points tonight. Fresno State down five at the half. Second half, Tech pulling away. Carr all alone. Carr driving. Tech up by nine. I'm still turning the phrases late in the show. Carr, I am not running out of steam. Neither was Corey Carr. <laughs> Baseline move. Gets the roll. Tark bumming. He also still looks like fish. It was Tarkanian seventh. Taff, Carolina, good defense. Adamola Okalaju steps into the passing lane and then takes it all himself, which gave me the time to say his name. Princeton, watch inside the box. The defense forced high, so there's no help when Jaime Mestillo cuts and gets the easy hoop. Princeton would not go away. Down by 10 at the half, then Brian Ruff away downtown. Bang. Cutting the lead to three. Here we go again, but NC State focused. Please focus, people. Ed Cota off the hesitation dribble and the hesitation jumper, and there's no hesitation for the victory. Ooh, big nine-point win from a team in the Ivy League. Didn't like what he saw here. George Tatum gets the rebound. And foul. Oh. Steve Wojciechowski hard. That's not a foul. It's an invasion. 32 fouls by Army Duke, though. Too much to handle despite the violence. Mike Chappell. Duke 100 to 38. When we were getting banged around, said Chusevsky, there was. In the first, a and struggled. Gerald Brown stripped. Well, just to the ball. Terrell McIntyre finds Harold Jamison. Great bounce pass, and he picks it up for the jam. Tigers 38-21 at the half, but in the second, the Aggies regroup. Matt Harrelson drives the baseline. Shot too strong. He finished up too strong. Larry Thompson, loose ball. And the foul. Aggies pulled it within four. Still in the second. Clemson coming back. Tom Weidman. 
to Greg Buckner in the paint. Turnaround jumper. And Clemson goes up 56-47 and goes on to the victory. J.C. Holland passes to Kelvin Cato. And then it's... Cato. Did it sound a little like Keith yeah, Jackson? It's Keith Jackson. Oh, Cato. Well, a monstrous block. Cato again. Another block. Hotter than a Texas pancake. And then it's more Cato. No. Cato. Yes. Iowa State wins it 59-48. How should it sound? Cato. Cato.